Hola mi gente, bienvenido a otro episodio de Quiénes Somos de la región de Ottawa y Gatineau. Con la fiebre del baloncesto, gracias a los Raptors, que está en las en la finales de la NBA y a punto de hacer historia si gana en el juego mañana, nuestro equipo viajó al pueblo de Elmont, donde nació el doctor James Smith, que es el inventor de este juego amado y jugado por millones en el mundo entero. Vamos a hacer un recorrido sobre la ciudad y conversaremos con algunos de los residentes. Ojalá disfruten estas imágenes. So, do you like basketball? Yes, I do. Why Because do you like basketball? Because my father, my father plays. Plays what? Basketball. Who do you want tomorrow to win the game? The Raptors. Why do you want the Raptors to win? Because then this will be their first time in the in the finals. So, who do you want to win tomorrow? Go Raptors, go! Do you think that Toronto tomorrow will make history? I think so, yes. Go Toronto. Who do you want to win tomorrow the game? The Raptors. So, who do you think is going to win tomorrow? Go Toronto, go! <laughs> so, do you think that tomorrow the Raptors will make history? I do think the Raptors will make history. It's about time they make history and I feel it's ripe. Estamos aquí con Stephanie. Y Bunny, Bunny es familiar del inventor del baloncesto. Y tengo el honor y el placer de estar junto a Bunny, que es familiar del Dr. James Knight Smith, inventor del baloncesto. Stephanie, my first question. With the ongoing basketball fever, thanks to the Raptors being for the first time in the NBA Finals, Is somehow this basketball fever benefiting the Elmont, the town where the inventor of basketball was born, and also the museum uh, honoring him? Um, it sure has. Uh, it's not only do we have more visitors daily attending the museum, um, but we have media from uh, not only Canada, but uh, the United States as well, which has brought the museum some great exposure. And uh, it's really brought the community together that everybody is all rooting for um, this Canadian team. And we're all proud to be Canadians, that's for sure. Yeah, I can see that. I'm also a Canadian citizen and so proud to be in this great country that is my adopter, adopted uh, motherland. And also, I'm so grateful to basketball, thanks to Dr. Ninth Miss inventing that game, because that game, I would say that may have saved my life and may have made me to become the man that I am, thanks to the discipline and all that uh, benefit that I had got from this, uh, from this game. This question goes for Bunny, and let me tell you, Bunny, that it is a great pleasure to be very this close to a person that is related to Dr. Naismith. I'm very happy to be here, and uh, oh, by the way, I want to say that this question was a suggestion from a colleague from work. Thank you, Benjamin, for the suggestion. And the question and curiosity that I have right now is um, what may have inspired Dr. Naismith to invent the basketball, this game, and no other game? Well, definitely his inspiration came from a game that he used to play as a child at Benny's Corners School here in Ramsey. It was called Duck on the Rock, oh. and it involved placing a rock on a large stone and lobbing ball another rock to knock that stone off the large rock and when he was given two weeks to create a new indoor game when he was at Springfield it was to be a non-combative game that would keep the young people occupied during the winter months and certainly his inspiration did come from his duck on the rock playing days as a child here in, in our area. That's very interesting to know that I didn't even know that. Now, the rock that we have before us, is that the rock that... Uh, it is. That's the rock. This is the actual rock. That's the rock. It used to be just across Kitty Corner to the school that he attended, and the students used to go out at recess and whatever, and, and that's what the rock they played on. Wow, very interesting. That I, in, I'm in front of a historical thing. I just saw that it was just uh, another rock that you just put in the museum. Also, Bunny, I want to take the opportunity to let all these people that love this game 
that to clarify that Dr. James Nightsmith was not born in the United States, and could you please tell all these people that love this game, where is this man from and where he was born? He was born exactly, what, two kilometers, Stephanie, from here, uh, in a, a small house uh, just at, out at the corner, moved up to Calumet Island as a small child where his parents died, unfortunately, and he came back to live with his Uncle Peter in the house that is still here at the corner, just beyond the museum. So we definitely know he was from here. He was born here, raised here until he was a, a teenager when he went off to school. The reason I ask you that question is because even up to now, nowadays, there's many people in a globe and in, in the, I'm sorry, around the planet that they still believe that Dr. Nysmith was born in the United States. But I argue for some people telling them, no, Dr. Nysmith was born in Canada. He's a pure Canadian, just like the Raptors. If they become the NBA champions, do you really think that the Raptors may have in their agenda to bring that trophy? or perhaps the whole team to make a visit to Elmont and honor the inventor of this great game that is played by millions around the planet? Well, we all hope that, that they will win for sure. I'm not sure what NBA's agenda is and whether they would actually have time to visit here, but it would be so great for the museum and the community um, to at least have a ball or a player visiting um, because we, as promoting Naismith, we also try to promote the Raptors and all the basketball teams that, that are in Canada. So that would be great if they could. Well, I hope that this video will be uh, watched by one of those uh, people from the Raptors and perhaps they will listen to us that it will be a great idea. It will be great that these new champions come to the town where the inventor was born to honor him, not only the, 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 the Dr. Nainsmith, but the whole town that are supporting the unconditionally the the raptors not only the not only Elmond, but uh, the whole canada inclusive inclusive um people in the united states are with the raptors people around the globe are with the raptors because they have fun all over the place and i hope i truly look forward that the trophy perhaps being here as an exhibit or the the team or one member of the team to be here maybe sign, signing autograph for all those fans that are following them I hope that that happened. Bunny, what do you think that Dr. Nainsmith will think or feel uh, besides being proud, besides pride, knowing that the game that he invented is loved and played by millions around the globe? What do you think that he will say knowing that the Raptors are only one win away to make history and becoming the first time NBA champion? I think first of all, because of the humble man that he was, he would be very surprised to think that his game became that famous. And I think he would be very pleased to see how it has developed and that it still is something that brings people together. He was brought up in a very tough world, uh, living on a farm, growing up without his parents. And I think that uh, his, his ideals that he developed were because of his roots here and his background, his solid hard work, um, respect for other people, respect for the land, all of that was part of his heritage. And I think he would be very pleased to see that a game that he invented became a national sport, international sport, and something that the world uh, still, still follows his principles in playing. Yeah, I know that he grew up having a tough life because as uh, far as I, as I know, he lost both of his parents when he was very young, right? Yes, he was nine when he was brought back to live with his uh, his uncle. And he was raised two years after that. His grandmother died. She was living with him in the beginning. And so he was raised by a bachelor uncle. And so life was tough. And they lived on a farm. In those days, when you were a farmer, you worked hard. Yeah. And he had had ideas that were a little bit beyond his rural thinking and he didn't get a lot of support from his uncle Peter or, and some of the other elders in his family because it was expected that you stayed home and looked after things and so it took a lot of courage on his half and a lot of inner strength 
to move on and do what he felt he really wanted to do. That's good to know because uh, inventing the basketball is not only inspiring, but also knowing that Dr. Naismith, because most people just see the great person that he may be or the great person he became, but most people don't see the other side that sometimes those great people went through a lot of hard time in their life before they became what they are. And Dr. Naismith is one of those, those men that is inspiring. Uh, his courage is inspiration for me, knowing that... Uh, that uh, when you go through some struggle in life, you can always have the will and that strength to overcome those struggles. Well, Bunny, I just want to say thank you for all this information, valuable information that you have given us. To me, I learned something new today and many things that I didn't know. I'm sure that all the people that are watching us also learned some new things that they never know before. And I want to thank you, Stephanie, too, for opening the doors, for your time, for your passion, and all the information that you have given us. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to send greetings to a person that has so much passion about basketball, so much love about this uh, game. His name is Marlon Moraga. Yes, I'm talking about Marlon Moraga all the way in Nicaragua. Marlon Moraga, Moraga is a man that has so much passion about this game. I haven't met nobody that has so much passion about basketball like, like, like this person, Marlon Moraga. I want to congratulate you guys and uh, you, uh, Marlon, and I hope that whatever you're doing, you continue doing that because uh, determination and courage is all it takes to accomplish what you want to do, like Dr. Nysmith did. Bunny, I would like you to send a message to all those basketball lovers in the planet on behalf of Elmont and Dr. Nysmith. Thank you to all of you, and thank you to Marlon and people like you who use basketball to better the world and make people better people, which is what Dr. Naismith would be very, very proud of. And hopefully this will open up a new world to you, and you will come and visit his hometown and learn more about his roots and what made him the kind of person he was. Stephanie, would you like to say something or any final thought that you may have? Well, I'd like to thank you so much for reaching out to us here at the museum. Um, you've been great uh, visiting us here. But for me, I also want to thank you so much for focusing on Naismith's character um, and his morals and his strengths. And although basketball is important, um, it's not the most important thing about Dr. James Naismith. Well, Stephanie and Bunny, let's cross our fingers that tomorrow... The Raptors will make history. Go, Raptors, go. Y la fiebre del baloncesto continúa aquí en Elmont, al igual que las esperanzas de que los Raptors de Toronto hagan historia mañana ganando el juego y traigan ese trofeo aquí a Elmont, donde nació el inventor de este juego, que es amado y jugado por millones en Canadá y en el mundo entero. Soy Danilo Velázquez, desde Elmo, Ontario, aquí en Canadá, donde nació el inventor del baloncesto. No olviden de ver el próximo episodio de Quiénes Somos y tampoco olviden que, como yo, no hay dos. Hasta la próxima.